So let's have a quickly go down the sides. Whitehaven line up with Broadbent at fullback. In the centres, we've got Will Evans and Marcus Walker. The experience or the quality in the halves of Carl Dix and Nico Williams, and a really strong back three. Kyle alluded to it, Ryan King, 12 tries this season, twice as many as any other Whitehaven player, and he's down, locks against Liam Cooper, Liam McAvoy, locks it all down at loose forward. Workington have the Mercurial Oscar Thomas at the back, he'll be a big part if Workington are going to get on the front foot. Alex Young, Joe Brown in the back line as well. Up front for them is Jordan Thompson, Evan Simmons at nine and Reese Clark just about hanging on here. They've got a couple of tackles remaining. It's to Forber, the pass isn't the best, but it's into oh, the hands of Thomas. Just... Further wide it goes to Brown. Can Brown keep the ball moving to his right-hand side? No, he can't, and he's wrestled to the floor, but the referee's going to say it's a penalty. Guaranteed. 24 minutes in, two points to nil, and... I think they've showed, and it's disappointing. Only a metre or so away from the line. It's back to Forber. Hutchings will then just set the play. He'll be tackled 10 metres away from the white oh, table line. And another penalty. Yeah, two points again. Another penalty. Almost a carbon copy count. I think they really do need half time, don't they? They just need to get through this next 10 minutes, Leon. Reassess, regroup, refocus even. Yes. Forber does neck over those. The conversion. So two kicks from Carl Forber, the difference between the two sides. He's lost it. Did well to keep the ball in there because I thought he lost it Williams further wide it goes into the arms of Evans and Evans to use his strength but Workington again Brilliant. has he got the ball down wow he has got the ball down I thought he was in touch super player there from Evans I thought for all the money in the world there he'd been driven into touch Whitehaven I think a little bit of fortune but they've used that fortune well and Evans gets the ball down in this right hand corner to even up the scores it's Whitehaven 4 Workington 4 Carl I agree with you, Doc. I thought they pushed him over into touch, but it'd be interesting to see how he gets this ball down because he was travelling at such speed, wasn't he? And the chases were coming across over to rescue the tackle. And I spoke about how this is the third opportunity in good ball, and they show that when they do complete and when they are willing to throw the ball around, they will get chances to score, and here's a good put down. Yeah, it's a good finish that, Leon, isn't it? Yeah, his Piccadilly's got to do a little bit better there. He's getting naught, gets nowhere near him. The palm from Evans, fends off one, fends off two, and then the finish in the corner is top class. Back on the inside, keeping the ball alive to hook, and then there's two and one down that far side as Walker gets the ball back on the inside to Broadbent. Broadbent's got Williams on his right hand oh, shoulder, throws yes. the dummy. Broadbent for the line, can he get the ball down? Oh, you bet he can. Super try from Luke Broadbent, break the line, and Whitehaven, in the blink of an eye, have never been at the game, never been at the races, and they're going to go into the sheds 12 4 to the good. And it's the try, he's from Luke Broadbent. Well, it's took John to call his men 36 minutes to wake up and arrive here at the Summer Bash in this derby. And it all starts with that wonderful offload there from Wilkinson. The ball gets moved out to that left side. It's Hooker who starts in and off as well. Broadbent sells Oscar, an absolute beauty. And under all sorts of pressure, still able to pump his legs, keep going and get the ball down. That's a brilliant Whitehaven try. That's more like it. Yeah, that's a dagger blow, Leon, isn't it? An absolute dagger blow for working. It was on his outside, but he chose to take the tackle. Goes to the left again into Forber. Oh, Forber throws the dummy. Forber's over the line. Try. Can he get the ball down? Yes, try. Try. Forber, Leon Price hits the heights and jumps up and appreciates the try from the experienced halfback Forber. And the game has just been ignited again. And it's Forber with the try. Whitehaven 12, working to eight. It's a lack of urgency, Doc. It's a lack of commitment once again. That ball is able to bounce not once but twice in between that winger and fullback. It's not good enough, is it? And off oh. the back of it, Carl Forber. Well, he's too good to take advantage of it. Look at this. You've got to claim them as a fullback. You've got to have confidence. If you drop it, you drop it. You can never let a rugby league ball bounce. And then it's all about the direction. Simmons goes left. Out to Forber. It's a show and goal. Gets on the inside and he's too strong. He's only slight, but he's strong enough. He's got a desire to get over the line and get the ball down. Service from dummy half, ball in two hands, dummy, show and go, left foot, spin, get the ball down, what a try, Stevie Scully, all the boys in there celebrating. Was looking for the offload, but he couldn't get it away, but Whitehaven are only eight metres away. Look him again, little short pass, trying to get oh, to the line, he's got to the line and he's spun over. Tom Walker, just too big, too strong, too close to the line, he gets the try and the Whitehaven fans behind that goal 
They're up, they go up as one. It's Whitehaven 16, Workington 10. Yeah, we talked about the momentum changer there from that kick from Broadbent, trapping Jamie Doran in goal. And off the, off the back of that, the Workington town side, they're unable to deal with nothing. The whole can only be described as power from Whitehaven. It was Ryan King with a carry, then it was McAvoy. And then it was that man there in the picture who knocked on the door for the third time and it burst open. And he celebrates in front of the western side of the ground. The brilliant carry from McAvoy before. And then it's Tom Walker, hard, direct, difficult to handle. Spins and puts the ball down and takes this game, this derby. 16-10 in favour of Whitehaven. Plenty of yards, what's the kick like? Go hand to Williams, Williams skips away from one oh. and then sees an opportunity, Evans on that far side, can he go for a line? Gets the pass yeah, away, right. Unton, his winger on that far side, Bowman's in in front of the, those spectators, excellent ball from Williams, even better from the centre, Evans, and Bowman finishes it off in the corner, it's Whitehaven 22, Workington 10. Brilliant stuff there, Nicar Williams sees out of his peripheral vision that someone's coming in to shut him down, steps hard off his right foot, Supplies the pass there to Evans, the centre. And what about the flick and what about the finish as well, Leon? Brilliant. It's an NRL style finish. Tommy, Tommy Makinson style finish on that right hand wing. One handed super dive in the corner. It's good ball movement out wide. Good feet from Williams. Looks like he may pull kicking, but it goes wide to Evans and then it's a beautiful right hand flick. Look at that finish. Gidley X, wasn't it, Leon? Absolutely. Jamie Lyon, Gidley esque. Right hand flick out the back, and look at this finish, boom, in the corner. And right in front of all the Whitehaven faithful as well. I think he's happy with that one. Kinton goes short. So they've gone short, that's a good carry and a good offload. From King to Williams oh, and Whitehaven keep the goal ball, and now it's Bowman in the foot race, can he get past Big Simon? Now he's got Thomas coming across, can he get it? And he gets a quick fire double. Oh, wow. Bowman with the pace down the touchline, Whitehaven fans go barmy behind the sticks, and what a try from Bowman, excellent play from Whitehaven, King with an offload, Evans promoted the ball on, and then it was just pure speed from Bowman down the touchline, Whitehaven 26, Workington 10. And look what it means to the fans, the players, the coach, the whole town, what a wonderful try it was as well. And Bullman, but he thought the first one was a spectacular finish. I think he's went and topped it, hasn't he? I'd love to see this again from the front angle. But a break from inside their own half as well, through that man King. We mentioned earlier, Doc, that he'd been quiet, but he shows what a top quality player he is as well. Williams then supplies the pass, and it's just a pure foot race. He hits the afterburners, hits the goal button, burns Oscar Thomas for pace as well, and swans over in the corner. He does what any good winger does, Leon. He, had, he didn't even look inside, did he? Just backed himself he the backed whole his, way. He backed his pace. It's a great chase from Fitzsimmons on a winger, but look at him. He backs himself, goes for the corner, and it's the finish. Look, he backs himself again. Oh, oh that's brilliant. What a finish. That is top, top class. That's the class. finish of the weekend for me. A job done for Whitehaven. I don't think they can over celebrate that victory. But nevertheless, the people at home, they'll all go into Sellerfield and all the other places up there. Very, very happy. If you're a Whitehaven fan for bragging rights, but it's.